I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for participating actively and posting brilliant questions. Here is a set of questions from my student of uh, MCR3U. She wants to understand how to prove these identities. So let's take these examples one by one. We will prove two identities here. 1 minus tan square x times 1 minus cos square x equals 2 sin square x minus 2 sine to the power of 4x over 1 minus cos square x. The other one is cos square x minus sin square x divided by cos square x plus cos x sin x equals to 1 minus tan x. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's begin with the very first one, which is uh, 1 minus tan square x times 1 minus cos square x. So that is the left side, right? So, so we can begin with the left side and show that this is equal to right side. Let me write down the right side clearly. These numbers are written very small. It is actually sine square x minus 2 sine to the power of 4x over 1 minus sine square x. That is what we want. So we'll begin with the left side and then we say left side is equal to 1 minus tan square x times 1 minus cos square x all these terms are in sine so let's write this also in sine so we get 1 minus sine square x over cos square x right and 1 minus cos square x you know is sine square x correct okay so this is equal to let's take cos square x as a common denominator so we get cos square x here cross multiply cos square x minus sine square x and all this gets multiplied with sine square x so if you compare we already have the denominator cos square x is same as 1 minus sine square x and if I write cos square x in terms of sine we should be close to our solution right so I'm replacing cos square x by 1 minus sine square x. We already have 1 sine square x here in the denominator. I'll write cos square x as 1 minus sine square x. We need to multiply this by sine square x. So here we have two terms with sine square x. So we could write this as 1 minus 2 sine square x over 1 minus sine square x times sine square x. Now let's just multiply the numerator. So we get sine square x minus 2 sine to the power of 4x over 1 minus sine, sorry, 1 minus sine square x, right, which is the right side. So we have shown that the left side is equal to the right side, correct? Perfect. So that is how we can prove it. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. So have a look at it. The strategy was to write down these terms in terms of sine and cosine first, and then into sine terms and then match left side with the right side. Perfect. Now let's take the second identity. Now the second identity is cos square x minus sine square x divided by cos square x plus cos x sine x equals to 1 minus tan x. The left side is more complicated so let's begin with the left side which is cos square x minus sine square x over cos square x plus cos x sine x. Okay. 
So the numerator can be factored as product of sum and difference, right? So we can write this as cos x plus sin x times cos x minus sin x over. Now in the denominator, we can factor cos x. So we get cos x with uh, left with cos x plus sin x. Now cos x plus sin x cancels. So we have one common term. So we can write this as cos x minus sin x over cos x. Now we can divide each term by cos x. So we get cos x over cos x minus sin x over cos x. Correct? Now clearly what we get here is 1 minus tan x which is given to us as the right side. Correct? So we have shown that the left side is equal to right side and therefore this identity is proven. So with these simple steps we can actually prove this identity. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.